Hey there, this is Joe over at Synergy 17. And today I just want to do a really simple uh, tutorial about font resizing. Uh, you've probably seen this a hundred times, but um, it seems like a lot of people still have questions about how to use true type fonts. Um, some people think you just type it in and cut it, and that's not the way it works. So uh, I'm going to show you kind of uh, the basic strategy on resizing these true type fonts to get them to be the right stone size. So I'm going to type in softball, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm just going to choose this month's font. Let's do March. Okay, so here we go. Right away, you can tell it's a rhinestone font just by looking at it, but people think they can just send it straight to the cutter, and they can't. If you really look at this, this is only um, 2.3 inches wide. So um, that's not really going to, those little circles would be tiny. But... Um, Sometimes we don't have a chart that says how tall it should be for an SS10 or SS6. But if you do know your stone size, then you can um, resize this to get the size you want. So for example, I like to cut an SS10 stone um, at 0.127. So I want to create this and uh, resize it so it's uh, 0.127. So what I do is, in, like I said, in every program it's slightly different. But in Corel, what you're going to do is, uh, this is the way I do it. I right click, I convert it to curves. And what happens is, now that it's no longer a font, I can't edit the font, like I can't retype uh, the letters, because um, they're all objects now. Then I right click and I ungroup all. The thing that happens here is when you ungroup all, it separates sometimes individual pieces. But then you have to right click and then you have to basically break it apart to get to each individual little circle. So a real quick trick that I do is I right click, I combine them, and then right away I break them apart. And now I have access to all the little circles here. So as you can see, if I click on this one, um, it'll say 0 .061, and I know that a SS10 is 0.127. So I'm just going to basically drag it, and then click on one, getting closer, 0.113. And I'm basically going to continue that. And if I go too big, I can make it smaller. 0.128, which is pretty darn close. And I can try a couple of them. Uh, 0 0.13, 0 0.128, 0 0.13. So, like I said, for me, I like to cut a little bit smaller. So I'm just make this a little, a little bit smaller. And 0 0.129, 128. I can make it a little bit smaller if I like. And if I click on it, 0.126. So really, really, really close. So I could sit here and go back and forth until I get it perfect, 0 0.127, 0 0.128 right there. Um, and then I would send this to the cutter. Now I can see my overall size is 15 inches wide, which is pretty wide. But that's how big it would be if I wanted that um, to be an SS10 stone. Of course, if I wanted an SS6 stone, I would bring it down so the circles are 0 0.098. So... Um, it's not that difficult. It's it's you know the more you do this, the faster you'll get at it. But uh, it's actually kind of one of the reasons why watch, one of the reasons why I create a little tiny macro to speed things up, or people are just a little bit lazier like me sometimes. So basically, all I have to do is highlight my word. Say I want an SS10, which is 0.127, and I resize it. And what it does is it makes it so they're all 0 .1, uh, 0 0.127. So exactly the right size. And same thing, if I want to downsize it, I would say make it an SS6, resize it. And it should actually make all the stones 0 0.098. So I'll click on it. And right there, you can see, I don't have it to the third decimal point on this one, but you can see that it's actually... Uh, point, point 0.1 really really close to point zero nine eight. so anyways that's uh, what this does but like I said that all you really have to do is um, I shall do it real fast Let me undo undo and I'll get it back to a font so just to go over it one more time what you want to do is right click convert it to curves right click and group them all right click combine and then one more time, break it apart, highlight it, drag it, click on it, 0.145 is too big, 
shrink it down a little bit. Uh, 0.136 is a little bit too big, a little bit smaller. 0.126 right there, and so that's perfect. And I would send that to my cutter. That's how you do it.